Keep your filthy hands off of our children, grandchildren. What is lower than a child molester? What is lower than a pedophile? Nothing. Just ask any inmate in general population what is the lowest piece of dirt in the prison, and they're going to tell you it's the child molester, child predator, pedophile. That should tell you something right there. They usually have to be housed away from everyone else for fear of being killed by the other inmates. So, with that said, this is a very, very serious problem going on in the world. Not, not just the United States, in the world. And for parents and grandparents, I just want to tell you, live life, have fun, but know your surroundings and be aware who's around. Know where your children are if they're not with you and know that they are with people that they are, will be safe and sound with. Okay, this is too much of an alarming situation going on lately. And I just watched a uh, show with a friend of mine, Dr. Michael Patero, who was a guest on the Shepherd and Bellis uh, radio station, which was done on YouTube. And I just watched him discuss this problem of human trafficking. Okay, I'm going to talk more about children today, but human trafficking involves people of all ages, contrary to popular belief, and it, it, it involves uh, all sexes, uh, all ages, men, women, children, boys, girls, teenagers, it doesn't matter. And it's a big problem. And... It's one of those things that if it doesn't happen to you, a lot of people don't think about it. So have an awareness that this is going on when you take your children to amusement parks. There's usually a pedophile lurking in the park, waiting for the opportunity for a child to get lost, lurking around the arcade games and the malls. Unfortunately, anywhere, anywhere in an area where children frequent, there will be a pedophile. And uh, Michael Patero had mentioned it on the show, Dr. Patero, you know, even churches, uh, Boy Scouts, um, royalty among the, the world countries have been involved in this. It's sickening. It's just absolutely sickening. And we have to take a stance against this. I called into the show and asked uh, Dr. Patero what his thoughts were about the criminal justice system doing a good enough job in uh, the punishment or the sentencing of child molesters and pedophiles. And believe me, we have agencies like right here in my county that work hard to bust these child uh, molesters and these child porn rings. They do a great job. That's the Polk County Sheriff's Office. They do a great job and they're constantly on these uh, folks that are uh, in human trafficking, child porn, child molestation, and they have been catching a lot of them right here in one little county. Multiply that times all the counties in the United States. Um, and I agree with uh, Dr. Patero, what he stated on the show. Um, some places are working hard against it and some are not. Some are not doing their job. Some of the criminal justice agencies are not doing their job. Where else are they not doing a good enough job? Folks are going to jump on the courts now. Courts, why is it that a child molester or a pedophile can sometimes walk out the door with probation. Why is it that sometimes they can walk out the door with a very small prison sentence and somebody smoking marijuana goes to prison for 20 years? Okay, I understand there's a point system and how many times they've been arrested and we have to look at all these things and their prior record. I understand all that. But listen, if, this, if you can't sentence them to longer sentences because of these issues with sentencing guidelines, then we need legislature. We need all legislature across the country to get on this and make 
crimes against children. Tough. I mean tough. Let's start working for the children. I'm sick and tired of the adults whining and crying and arguing with each other. So let's work for the children so that hopefully we can save these children. And this is our future. These children will be our future. And let's make it where pedophiles get put away for a long, long, long time. Child pornography, they get put away for a long, long, long time. Now, I have seen right here in my county, in a courtroom, where a person was caught with 100 child pornography photos, and I've seen them sentenced to 30 years. That's good, but that's not happening everywhere. I mean, just in the last couple of weeks, I've seen articles come out where pedophiles have been released from jail, released from prison, uh, out with no bond. It's happening. This is sickening. If there's one group that needs to stay in prison, it's child molesters, pedophiles, once proven guilty. So I'm asking everybody to take a chance and get out, do something for uh, organizations that are helping children, fighting against child pornography, fighting uh, these pedophiles, and just do something when you can. Uh, if you can't put your own time into it, there are a lot of uh, organizations out there fighting human trafficking, fighting child porn, fighting uh, against pedophiles, donate 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars to them. Okay, it, it can help one child, hopefully. And I didn't put any of those organizations up. If you're serious about it, you'll go look for them. I'm, I'm not here to uh, do a GoFundMe, but I'm just throwing some things out there. Uh, <clears throat> it's getting really bad. And listen, another thing I want to talk about. You know, a lot of people think, oh, child molester, that's that bum on the street that sleeps under the bridge and it has no home and no money. Well, sometimes it is. But it can be doctors, lawyers, teachers, preachers, pastors, politicians, movie stars, royalty. You know it and I know it. That's why it's so hard to always catch these people because a lot of them that are involved with child pornography or, 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 or they are pedophiles are rich, filthy, rich people that have the money to hide behind and protection. Now, I'm not going to get into saying names of movie stars and names of royalty because, number one, I know they're there. But I don't uh, accuse someone unless I have evidence. So they're out there. It's happening. Uh, let's hope they get caught. Let's hope the criminal justice system doesn't let their money and high power and influence take away from what we need to do to them. If the little old bum on the street can go to prison for 30 years to life, why can't the rich, wealthy, and powerful people go to prison for 30, 40 years and let the prison keep them locked away to keep the children safe? And who knows? Sometimes there's jail and prison justice among the inmates. But anyway, <clears throat> also, knowledge is power. I've said that in both my books. Corruption Behind Bars and Inside the Inner Circle. Knowledge is power. That's a great uh, thing that I've always said. It's a common saying, but it's the truth. Have knowledge of what's going on. And if you need to check out your area, like in Florida, you could go to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement website and say, uh, sex offenders in my area. I did it the other day, and I've got one right over here in a trailer, a child sex predator. I mean, he's just, I don't know, less than a quarter of a mile away up here in a trailer. 
I drive by and look at them all the time. But see what that does, that gives me awareness. Knowledge is power. I know he's there. So if we have any children at the house, they don't go anywhere near there. Nope, they don't wander off. They stay here with us. That's what I mean by knowledge is power. Any state you're in, any city you're in, look it up. Sex offenders near me. The one that lives right over here in the trailer by me says uh, that he has uh, registered as a sex offender for uh, doing some things with a child 12 years or under. I guess he did a little time in the prison and he's out now and he's right up here. He's an old guy now, but hey, age, don't let the age fool you. Don't let the age fool you. <clears throat> he can still hurt a child. I already informed all my neighbors about it, and we know what he looks like. We know where he is. If I see any children up near him, I'm, I'm going to report it to probation and parole or to my sheriff's department here. But anyway, just a few words to let you know. I'm going to be getting more into um, child... Uh, uh, pedophiles, child molesters, and things like that in some of my videos. I am going to do a video here in the near future on uh, pedophiles in prison. A lot of people always ask about what really happens to them in prison. So I think next week <clears throat> you're going to see pedophiles in prison and what happens to them when they get around the other inmates. Thanks a lot for watching. Gary York, True Prison Stories. Please subscribe.